So we now know that punishment and rewards are not an effective guidance technique. So what now? What do we do if our children misbehave? Stay tuned and find out. Hi, welcome to Bilingual Family TV, the place to be if you want to create meaningful relationships with your children while learning Spanish. This week, we will continue on our discussion of Children the Challenge by Rudolf Dreikers, and today's chapter is Natural and Logical Consequences. So, what exactly are natural consequences? Let's find out. Natural consequences are simply the things that you allow to happen. So, for example, instead of having a power struggle in the morning because your child doesn't want to take mittens, what will the natural consequence will be that their hands will get cold. Uh, another example is, you know, constantly arguing about doing their homework. If they don't do their homework, they're going to have to face their teacher and their peers the next day. I mean, that's something that they're going to have to face on their own. When using natural consequences, it's really important to use words that make the child feel empowered and feel that they are in control of the outcome. The beauty, like I said, of natural consequences is simply letting it happen. So if if the child experiences, you know, that, that natural consequence, you can say, you know, I'm really sorry that happened to you. Or I'm so sorry that you forgot to do your homework. Or it's really sad that you didn't wake up on time. It's really sad that you didn't clean up your room before your friends got here. Different things like that, but not the minute that you say, see, did you learn your lesson? Then it automatically turns into a punishment. So it's important to watch your words and really, truly let the consequence happen all on its own. Now, sometimes there, there isn't a natural consequence for a behavior. So that's when we can apply logical consequences. Okay, so logical consequences are a little trickier. So I'm going to use an example that was in the book to explain how to use logical consequences. So the example that he gives is of a little girl playing outside. And when she was playing outside, she would go out on the street. Obviously, we can't allow natural consequences to happen in that case because the natural consequence would be getting hurt by a car. So in this case, we need to apply logical consequences. So what the mom would say is the first, the first time that it happens, go up to her and say, if you don't feel like playing in the yard, you'll have to come inside. So that's giving the girl the power. She decides if she wants to play in the yard and stay in the yard or not. But the mom doesn't say, you know, I'm going to ground you or you better stay in the yard or anything like that. She's giving the girl the choice and she's giving the girl the power of choosing what she is going to do. So then the second time when it happens again, after the mom has already told her that, she just tells her, since you're not wanting to play in the yard, we'll have to come inside. And she'll just have an area inside where she can still play. It's not, she's not being punished, but she, she just gets a consequence. She can't, obviously she can't play outside without going into the street. So now she's gonna have to come inside. So that when they're inside, she can, mom can say, okay, we'll try that again tomorrow. You can try to play in the yard again tomorrow. So that they know it's not, this is just a learning opportunity. It's not the end. It's not the end. I will get to play again outside tomorrow and try again. And because they've experienced the logical consequence of having to play inside because they they couldn't stay in the yard, then maybe next time they they will know to stay in the yard. This is my favorite quote and it's at the very end of the chapter. He says that we must continually remind ourselves of this. I have no right to punish a person with status equal to mine, but I do have the obligation to guide and direct my child. I do not have the right to impose my will, 
but I have the obligation not to give in to his undue demands. So, natural and logical consequences. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Bilingual Family TV. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you know of anyone who would benefit from this video, share it with them. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Adios!